Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more RimWorld Psycho Edition, no time for BS. So we've got a whole slew of thrumbos over here. We also have Silver Hair Devil, who apparently everyone is just like allowing to lay there. I think we can undraft everyone. I assume someone will get poor Silver Hair. No, no one is getting Silver Hair. Please rescue Silver Hair Devil. We're going to have to get this poor bastard a new arm. We have extreme risk breaks all over the place. And we just had a mental break somewhere. Who was that? Oh, Mr. Gray Wolf. What are you so sad about? No wolves ever get sad in such a manner. We've got to take this thing out. And I think that that is something that we are going to do probably once we get Silver Hair Devil back up to speed. Right now, he just he's gotten the crap kicked out of him, so it's going to take a little bit. We also have Tattered Apparel. Which is also on Silver Hair Devil. Okay, so I'm going to have to take care of that as well. Got a bunch of gold laying around because we were going to make some golden beds. And then we didn't end up doing it. This bedroom over here. Silver Hair Devil's white? Wait, what? Silver Hair Devil's white. Uh. I mean, I guess he is. He looks tan. Hold on, we need to read this. This furniture is engraved with an artwork of Ryan Silverhair Devil Jung, researching blast turrets with great intensity. The work appears to be exceptionally complex. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of tiny mantis. Almost every shape of the image seems to be rectangular. This representation refers to Silverhair Devil finishing research on blast turrets on the 6th of spring, 5502. How poetic! And you! You jerk! Oh, I almost forgot. Holy crap. I just noticed right now. So I'm messing around in the, um, the options menu, like doing all kinds of various tests with all the turrets and everything, just to kind of see. And I've forgotten to take development mode off. There we go. No longer cheating like a bastard. <laughs> Everyone's getting food poisoning from human meat. We've got freaking. We got freaking. Critters vomiting all over the place. So, there's an eclipse right now, so not everyone's getting sick right now. This is kind of interesting. How's everything going on in here? Is this stuff... No, it's going between refrigerated and not refrigerated. We still have this heat wave. So, someone had said, like, bring all this down to, like, ridiculous levels. So, alright. I'll bring it all down to, like, negative 31C. Let's see how that works. So, that should get us there, right? I mean, that kind of makes sense. Eh, we're just barely dancing on the realm of of being, whatchamacallit, refrigerated, not refrigerated, frozen. Okay, well, it is frozen. So, other things to do. There's Mr. Grey Wolf just kind of hanging out in his room being sad. Silver-haired devil, let's take a look at you real fast. You've got a bunch of shots into your body, and I feel really bad about that. In a little bit here, we're going to make sure to get you a new arm. Holy crap, Silver Hair Devil, are, are you, like, back up? Oh, you're getting something to eat. Dude, you need to go freaking sleep for a while longer. You need to get fully healed. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you do what you do. Cut up that freaking Thrumbo. You think you can come in here, Thrumbo, and pull this bull crap with me? You too, jerkwad. Oh, you're a Thrumbo that's down. Do we not have you... What the hell? This... This wasn't here before, was it? I don't remember being able to do this to Thrumbos. Remove the spine! Oh. Alright. Yeah, let's do all this. I've never- I've never removed a spine from a Thrumbo before. This should be interesting. Since you wanted to- Oh, really? Yeah, the female gender's wincing in pain. As if we didn't have enough freaking issues! Oh, we can probably turn this off as well. Let's go ahead and do that. This bow has just been laying out there. Maybe at some point someone can grab it. Someone had mentioned are the... Ooh, there is a scar sitting over here as well. I think that that silver-haired devils. Want to pick all this stuff up. These thrumbo horns are going to be big, big money too. All right, man. Silver-haired devil back in command. I'll probably put some flooring down in here. Everyone's been wondering... Whether or not the sterile floor does anything, I really don't know. It costs 15 silver, though, which is ridiculous. But, I don't know. 
I mean, I'll give it a shot. Why not? There. And one right there. We'll have people start on that. Maybe that'll do something. While we're at it, I think we have a bunch of sandstone blocks. We sure do. Let's continue making sandstone tiles everywhere we can. Especially in these prisoner rooms. Get these prisoner rooms fixed up. Now, we're going to be ripping all this apart. But I'm, I want all this area tiled anyway because we're still going to use it. Like, when I reconstitute all of these rooms, we're still going to be using this area. So it's not a big deal or anything like that. Yes, make it look pretty, damn it. Want to make sure everyone's working as well. Mr. Grey Wolf has been in there for a long, long time. What are you doing, Thrumbo? Oh, you're dead. That's too bad. We ripped off your horn. Did we get your spine? It's got a bad back. That's interesting. I'm really curious if, like, we have a Thrumbo spine laying on the ground. There's an eyeball, an eye patch. I don't see too much else. We have... Let me take a look here. I'm just kind of looking around besides this. I don't know. I don't think so. I definitely see the horn laying on the ground, though. Man, we have a lot of fertilized eggs that are going to be coming into play pretty soon here. Now, okay, so this is definitely true. All of this, all this stuff is dying. So we're going to have to get this fixed up pretty quick. Uh, the way that we're going to fix this, let me see what kind of weapons we have laying around on everyone. I wonder if I have anyone with the highly overpowered... Uh, what was it called? The AW something or other? I don't think anyone has it on this board right now. Pete Rubis. I'm going to go grab this guy and kind of use him as a sniper. And see if we can take this out. I'll let everyone do what they do down there while he's kind of getting an early start here. We're going to see if we can finish this thing off. Or at least get these critters out. We should be very, very far away. And fire. Let me see here. Are we hitting this thing or not? Oh, there's a party going on, huh? Pete, go ahead and head over here, maybe. There we go. I think you're going to be able to fire a lot easier. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so the critters are already on to Pete. Big time. But that's okay. Run, Pete. Run, Pete. This damn, this damn ship has got to get destroyed, though. Um, I'm probably just going to let Pete go to the party. And I guess we'll have to F-bomb this thing as best we can. Did we do any damage to it? Eh, very little. Man, we are going to be mortaring this thing, like, for days. I may even make a third mortar just to get, like, an extra mortar going. We have, we have the steel. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead over here. We don't have the crazy mortar yet. We just have our, we just have our average mortars right now. Uh, we could, of course, make out of Plasteel because Plasteel everything is very good. We'll put this mortar... I don't think we have enough artillery shells. I'm going to get this started. I'm going to go over here. Start on the bills. Make like... Well, let's actually just go to details. And increase it by like 60. There we go. Get a crap ton of artillery shells going. And... Someone here who isn't really doing very much. I don't know, man. I, I got to pick one of these people. And put them... Ooh. Yeah, work on that deep drill, man. There is a lot of plasteel under that ground, and we need to get all of it, damn it. I need to get someone working on this mortar. At least one person mortaring the hell out of everything. Uh, Gypsy Diva. You can go ahead and mortar. Get some mortaring in right here. There we go. Let's see if we can get that crap started. In fact, let me go ahead and grab this. We're going to set a force target. We'll put it, like, right right about here perhaps or maybe even like right here this way it kind of like overshoots a little bit there we go we're starting to get a little bit of damage in we need this thing down to 50 percent though it's gonna be pretty damn tough uh 88 percent i think we've done have we done any damage to anyone here kind of look around we might be able to get a couple of limbs and stuff too we got another minigun a charge blaster and this one inferno cannon the inferno cannon is our most difficult issue so that's going to be the hardest one. Zangster, um, go ahead and just like mortar for a little bit with Gypsy Diva. Maybe if we get two going on, we'll move things around a little bit faster. Still 88%. I'm going to have to let these two go to sleep here in a little bit. That was a good shot right there to that centipede. That wasn't bad at all. Man, still taking a long time though. Like I said, we can get some snipes in maybe, but 
That was a good shot to the centipedes, too. Holy crap. All right. You two can go to sleep for right now. Well, probably going to get something to eat. And then we'll start on a new day. Coming up here. 54 medicine still. Mental break hide in room gypsy diva. Damn it. I thought I would be able to get her to sleep before she broke, but I guess not. Our guys have got to be getting a lot of social work as well. Oh, the psychic drone was causing a big problem too. How do you feel about your room now? Your room has to look much better, right? I mean, yeah, the mood's pretty good. 42%. That's not bad. She's got this nice chair here. Once we bring her something to eat, she should be a lot happier. And then this guy over here, the only problem is that his room looks like crap. Um, but someone did mention how to clean up these rooms with no big deal. In fact, I'm going to mess around with it right now. Real quick, like Zell Goddess, what's your work schedule look like? Where even are you? There you are. Okay, so you can clean. So let's try this out. So someone had said that the, that the easiest way to force people to clean is to go inside here, bar this door, so now he can't leave, and let him do whatever. Oh, yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Oh, that works fantastically. Thank you for that, everyone who suggested it. That works like wonders. That is perfect. I'm going to let everyone kind of wake up here. Pete, how are you doing? You're meditating. That's fine. I'm going to let Takuki get something to eat. And then I'm probably going to have him... Yeah, let's go ahead and have... No, not clean the sand. Oh, it's possible he doesn't have the ability to use these guns. That's probably the other issue. I think we're getting the last mortar built up as well. While we're at it, Pete, go ahead and work on the machining table. Get some more artillery done here. That would be fantastic if you could uh, go ahead and do that. Energy-wise, things are looking good. We've got plenty of energy around the colony, thanks to all these damn, uh, these damn geothermal generators. But yeah, we can't grow anything. We can't grow anything because that ship is still around. And that's a lot of mechanoids surrounding that ship, man. I would much rather have them come to us. <laughs> oh, all right, Nam Nam. You are the one. You are the one. Pilot that big ass gun. All right, let me go see if I can click on her. Set the force target right about to here. Right about there should do it. Still 88% on this thing. Keep those, keep those shells coming down range, baby. Zelgadis gonna let you consume a lavish meal. They want a stone cut, but instead, we're gonna have them working on this here. Let's see if I can force this target right about to here as well. 79% on this. Getting a lot of damage on these centipedes, though. Looking pretty good. Maybe we can really soften them up before they come down. That was another shot right there. Holy crap. I'm not slowing this down because this is going to take forever. Mike. Playing horseshoes, huh? How about you man this freaking turret? How about you do a little bit of that? Also, oh, look at that. We got a scyther already dead. That is fantastic. The damage to these scythers, not too... Oh, my God, man. We are, we are shelling the hell out of this thing. 71%, though. It's still operational. Uh, no more shells. Crap. That's no good. So, let me go ahead and... Let me see here, Mike. What does your work schedule look like? We need to keep you working on stuff, man. Uh, I got some handling going on, which is fine. Construction. I mean, I, I can put you on growing so that you have something to do. Uh, I could also put them on researching. I'm kind of surprised that Mr. Grey Wolf wasn't doing more researching. See how we're doing over here. 71% still. A lot of damage on the centipedes. And even a little bit of damage on the remaining scythers so far. Everyone's going to start breaking, though. I probably need to start pulling everyone inside. That was a good hit. 62%. I just wish that they got tired. But it doesn't look like they ever do. All right, everyone. Go ahead. Head out. Go ahead and head out. We're going to need a lot more freaking shells, though. That's assuming we have enough steel. We should have... I don't know. I don't think we have that much steel left. We probably have used a lot of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that we've used a lot of steel. So I'm going to have to start looking for some steel. Oh, here we go. Here's still a bunch of steel. 232 steel. That's not bad. 
And do we have any other steel just kind of like laying around in the area? Just kind of looking for maybe... Oh, here's some over here. All right. I'll go ahead and mine this area out. We'll go mine like that much of the area out. Maybe we can get some additional steel over there. Damn it. I want to take this freaking thing down. It's pissing me off. 62%. Maybe I can get Pete to do a little bit more sniping. I'm just not sure how well I can get these snipes in. Let me see. Let me try and bring him up here. It may be too close. Well, let me see. Go around this side as well. Nah. Uh, nah, we're not going to do that. Pete, just keep working on the machining table. Get more of those artillery shells done. So we can have as many as possible so we can keep laying in the fire. I hate the fact that it has all of this um, this area around here. It's kind of pissing me off. Because it's, it's taking a lot of our shells out. And we're not getting as much... I don't think we're getting as much damage as we could be getting. Let me see who else we can utilize here. Jessica has one of the bars... Do we have one of the... Oh, that's right. I forgot. Someone had mentioned to get uh, get this area uh, some roofs on it. I don't know if... I wonder if we can roof this area out or if it's too far. You know what I mean? We also have a door on here. That's odd. I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. Put a door... Or not that. I'm going to go ahead and put a door on there. And maybe that's what was causing the problem. Maybe because it didn't have a door on it, they didn't consider it to be something like that. Let's go over here to zones real fast. And roof build zone. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go, huh? There we go. Hopefully the roof doesn't collapse. We'll find out. It's a big area. This is a big, big area for roofing. That eh, doesn't look like it. That's nice. All right. We've got another sculpture. We'll put this one over here. Maybe make our guys feel a little bit better about life. All right, Derp. Go ahead and get some mortaring in. Zell Goddess, you as well. I know that you're my stone cutter, but there we go. Go ahead and grab this and this. We'll do a force target right about here. We'll see if we can get this thing damaged a little bit more. 62% right now. Another two good shots there on a centipede. I, I think that that did some damage. I'm not, I'm not really sure. They're, they're in a nice grouping, though. That was a good shot. 54%, man. We're almost there. We're almost ready to force these guys down here. Come on, man. Wow. That was a hell of a blow right there. 54%, pretty late at night now. Another decent shot to that centipede. When these guys come down here, there we go. Now we got them coming in. Excellent. That's what I wanted to see. All right, everyone. Let's get everyone prepared here. Turn this on real fast. Zell Goddess, go ahead and line yourself up over here. Derpy Duck, go ahead and line yourself up over here. I know we have more individuals that we can utilize for firepower. Uh, oh, let's grab another one of our minigun people, though. I love the miniguns for this. It's not really the best for mechanoids like this, but it's pretty damn cool. And while we're at it, grab Nam Nam. Please operate this gun turret. Mike's doing his thing. Zangster, operate this gun turret. Zell Goddess, I'm going to take you off this real fast so you can flick this switch on and get your ass back over here. Excellent. Here they come, boys. We have someone trying to break in. Oh, they're trying to break into a room that no one's inside of. That's interesting. All right. Well, hold on now. Let me uh, let me fix your ass, Jessica. Let me see. Where's the where's the rest of this problem at? They're coming. All right, Jessica. Go ahead and show this guy what's what. See if you can bring his ass down here. Stop beating up my damn plasteel door. Whoa. Don't get too close now. There we go. Excellent. Come on down, buddy. Yeah. Why don't you come this way? Are you... Do you not want to come this way? Or are you just really slow? I guess you're just really slow. Oh, there's a knife over here. Oh, it's a wooden shiv. I don't care about that. All right, Jessica. You got to move quick. Because you remember what happened to the last person that got caught in the line of fire. Oh, it was silver-haired devil and his arm got ripped off. Oh, she's almost there. There we go. Fantastic. That's two of them down. That means now we just have to wait for these. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna let everyone go to sleep. Because it's probably better that way. It's just gonna take forever for them to get down here. Oh, I can't wait to blow up your freaking ship, you bastards. It's gonna be morning time by the time these creatures get down here. Our turrets can probably take care of them by themselves. That's why I just kind of left them on. Look at how slow they move. I think I think a lot of it is also because their health is probably all blown up. Yeah, a lot of body rings and stuff are all cracked. I don't know if that... Oh, actually, we can check right now. Hold on. Manipulation moving. Very poor. So that, that does have something to do with it. Just want to be very, very careful in that no one's, like, walking outside like Takuki just did. Um, Takuki, yeah, you can go ahead and relax socially. I, that's not a problem. Anyone else down here that wants to perhaps man a turret? Whoa! What the hell was that? Oh. That is the Vulcan Cannon going completely insane. Nice. Nice indeed. That guy is gone. Man, this Vulcan Cannon's range is just amazing. I love it. Oh, God. Silver-haired devil. Do not do what you are currently doing. There you go. Yeah, go over here. Actually, you know what? You can even man this if you wanted to. All right, those two are down. Is there one more left? Yep, there sure is. Silver hair going to get you out of this. Um, he is so far away that I Nah, I'm not going to take I'm not going to take that chance. I was thinking about doing the thing where we modify this so that they are being de uh, decommissioned, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to let everyone kind of do their thing. Oh, poison ship. I can't wait to beat the living crap out of you. You have pissed me off for the last damn time. Take those guys apart. Take their freaking components and plasteel and stuff. Yes. Oh, so good. I might even leave these creatures here as target practice. If you guys didn't know, you get a lot of... You get a lot of experience for shooting at downed mechanoids. So... There we go. Three down. They're just hanging out. I love it. Uh, there's a craptastic minigun over here. Let's go grab one of our minigun users because they are going to be able to take this ship out really fast. Here's El Goddess. Watch this. This is cool. I'm going to go bring him up here. And wait until you see how quickly the uh, minigun will wipe up a ship. You just got to go, like, right next to it. And then it's, it's insane. All right, here we go. There we go. And we're done. <laughs> going to go grab all this. Got a little bit of steel. Got a little bit of that. Take him off there. And finally, finally, this map will start clearing up and we can grow our freaking Devil Strand after, God, just the longest time of things failing. Oh, I don't need to have these coolers as cool as they are right now, and not anymore. Uh, we'll put it at, like, three. We'll put it at, let's see here. Actually, we'll put it at, like, Negative five, negative uh, three, and then like two at negative one or something. There we go. Negative one and negative one. And that should, there we go. Now these two are on low. Excellent. And this one, that's yeah, on high. All right. I was just curious. And that should keep it right about freezing in a 20C area. Uh, yeah. Looks pretty good so far. All right. Good. So everything's going good now. Everyone should be planting. Yes, the Devil Strand is finally going to get going. That is fantastic. All these guys are down. Let me show you guys a little bit of how you can gain a lot of a lot of uh, technique for shooting very quickly. Go ahead and grab one of my dudes over here. Pete, he's got this sniper rifle. If you want to, you can go and like grab just like a crappy gun. Like here, let me go grab this pistol. I know that you were just sleeping, Pete but I need you momentarily. All right, so we can go kind of like max range. So we'll go like down here maybe, just kind of seeing whereabouts the max range is, right about here probably. There we go. So now we can click on this dude over here, assuming he can reach it. I think he can. And let's go over to his character abilities. Let me click on the right one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And it's going to take him forever to take this thing down. But that's what I'm talking about, baby. If you want 
you can even like build little walls around this thing so it's even harder to hit <laughs> oh that is that is funny I'm gonna let him go to sleep though so depending on how much you want to micro the system you can gain a lot of attack power this way I don't think I'm gonna keep doing that because that would literally take forever and I doubt that's what you folks want to see I do want to build another Vulcan cannon over here though because that the Vulcan cannons are hilarious and uh, the Vulcan cannons may seem like they're kind of like trivializing a lot of stuff, but do remember as we build better and better security equipment, we're going to be getting attacked by bigger and more impressive things. Put down, can I put this right here? Cannot be placed under a roof. Oh, okay. Did not know that. Well, let's go ahead and expand the no roof area to this right here so we can get all that cleared out. And I don't know if that'll collapse some of the other roofing that's around in the area. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out when everyone kind of like gets rid of this roof here. Bunch of people still sleeping. Probably some other stuff that I could do is continue to... Oh, you're admiring the sculpture. Is continue to make more of the golden beds. Because there's still a few people that don't have golden beds. Like Jessica and Derpy Duck. They could certainly use a golden bed. Everyone could use a golden bed. All right, now that that's all done, let's continue over to the security area. Plasteel Vulcan Cannon, go! Start getting that online. And that is just going to be absolutely masterful. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. Let's deconstruct this, and then we will reinstall this over here so that things are a little bit more... A little bit more appropriate and then we're also gonna have to go over here and remove the no roof area here and we can have a roof over here though there we go that'll do it this way it this way the Vulcan cannons look a little bit more appropriate they're like more I don't know the exact almost the exact what am I what am I talking about center uh, not synergy I don't know you, you know what it is symmetrical symmetrical there it is oh my god <laughs> Uh, they're not totally symmetrical because if they were we'd have to knock this wall out and kind of go back here uh, I'm thinking about it. I don't know Let me see We could do that and put this here. Although if this blew up these things would absolutely explode I probably need to get rid of this entire area anyway I don't think that we were we don't need these batteries anymore at all do we? Yeah, we don't. All right, let's, um, who's sleeping in there right now? Takuki? Takuki, you now have a brand new bed. And you get a golden bed, too, so you should be pretty damn happy. You don't have to sleep with the freaking batteries anymore. How's that feel? Pretty good, huh? Let's go over to power real fast and kind of find out how our power is routed. Just kind of looking around here. This power goes to this switch, which branches off here, which goes down here, which goes over here. So really, this is doing absolutely nothing. Okay. So all this is going to get destructed. We are going to start right now on reconstituting our base, at least somewhat. And I'm going to use a bit more of a degree of, symmetric, of symmetry here. Probably do this over here. Yep. We're going to see if we can get this done as quick as possible. Because the only issue is that someone's going to be, like, sleeping outside now. Which uh, I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm not really super happy about. But, so these are going to go there. We want more deconstruction going down over here. There we are. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Make it happen. Very good. All right. So that looks pretty good. Uh, did we already do this? No, we didn't. All right. So we want that done. We want that deconstructed. Well, not that one. There we go. Start getting this stuff in line a little bit better. And then we can put one wall over here. Like this. And then we can bring this up here like this. I think that's where I want to... Let me see how tall I want these. One, two, three, four, five... I think I want them six tall. So that's what we're actually going to do. Let me go ahead and get rid of all this. And this kind of area is probably going to go to another, like I had said, another um, of these hallways right here. 
So everyone's going to be sleeping outside for a little bit, I guess. Go ahead and deconstruct this area. Deconstruct this area. We're gonna we're gonna jack this whole place up, baby. Just you wait. We're gonna clear everything out and make things just much, much more symmetrical. And then we gotta start moving all these. We gotta start moving all these beds inside to where they should be. What is our distance like here? Come to think of it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna want six. I want it six by six, I think. That's about the size I want for everything. So all the rest of this stuff, when we break it down, is gonna be six by six as well. Let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this actually needs to be over here. So we can go ahead and get rid all of all of this. Hold on. That right there. And that now that should be six by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then one two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's gonna be the appropriate size that I want. Six by six, that should give everyone enough space to have like a bed and I don't know, maybe like a sculpture or something. That should also give us enough area to have a ton of bedrooms. I just have to make sure that I put all of these guys, like, I don't know, I'll probably put her maybe, let me think. I may even just use the hospital for her or something like that, kind of move her out while I move everything around and kind of take all this stuff apart. I don't know. If you guys think that you have a better idea of what to do to the base when we start moving all this around, let me know. Again, what I'm going to do is there's going to be one set of rooms over here. So this kind of square here will be a bunch of rooms. I think we'll be able to get like um, maybe like six or seven in. And then there's going to be another hallway right here. A too, a too long hallway there, or too wide, I should say. And then there's going to be more rooms bounding off of here. And that's going to be perfect because where this hallway is, we'll kind of like cut through this area. So we'll be able to make rooms like all the way out to here. I don't want to make a room inside of the cave area because I don't want any of the insects to spawn inside of someone's room. But that'll give us space for like another, I don't even know, like maybe 10 rooms or something like that. And that'll be kind of like the living quarters. And then people can kind of like move down here to the rest of the common area should they need to. Let me know what you think. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.